Okay, good morning. My name's Kirk. I'm Group A Chef of Rockfish. This morning I'm going to show you how to make Dartmouth Dress Crab. So this is how we do it. Sweet legs, claws, body. First thing to remove. Then we're going to chip into that. Off come the claws and out comes the body. So the claws, we set them aside. This is a lovely lot of white meat in here. This part around here, dead man's fingers. We take them off. There's what cleanses the uh, crab. Uh, so obviously some contaminants in there, which can make them a little bit poisonous. You do have to eat a rather a lot of them to make that happen, but we discard those. We don't want those. Not, there's no pleasant flavor in those. So then we're left with the body. Crack down through the body, pulling off your legs. If you like, you can pull the legs off, keep the body part together. The whole one, very simple. There's a line that runs around that crab there. Take the palm of your hand, gently put pressure on it. Same on the other side and then you'll be able to remove that shell. All this also, the extra shell board, dead man's fingers, none of that is needed. Pieces inside it. What we're left with inside that, we take the, the, the bowl and we just tip that into there. And then you're left with that. You wash that, you wash your shell out, and that will, that's like your plate to put your dress crab back in, ready to eat off it. And then your brown meat, just pound it a little bit. Sometimes you'll find this is a lot more rowier, sometimes you'll find that it's a lot more watery. I prefer when it's like this. There's a much more flavour of the sea, really, really close uh, and intense flavour. A bit more rowy, it's a bit more waxy. So like this, you wouldn't have to add any mayonnaise whatsoever into that. If it was a little bit more rowy, you just take a bit of fresh mayonnaise, pop it into that and loosen it up a little bit. So that's how you prepare your brown meat. One more thing. Make it a little bit easier for your guests to eat their crab. Take the back of a knife and just crack it open. Of course, you could do that at the table, uh, but as you can see, a lot of crab juice goes everywhere. So if you're outside, ideal, but maybe not in your mother's dining room. At this stage, I have everything ready. I just got to put that on a lovely silver platter, take that out to my, to my uh, friends and, and guests uh, uh, with some crab cracking claws, a little bit of pick, some lemon, some cucumber, some mayonnaise and brown bread and, and then we're ready to have some fun together preparing dress crap. <laughs>